I'm Timothy Humphreys Tatum. I'm the college captain. I'm from Moree, New South Wales. I'm from Coolby and my name is Doug. I'm from Wyandra in Western Queensland. I'm from Douglas Daly. I come from Bay Desert. I live in Gundawindi and I'm a boarder at Downlands College in Grade 11. When I first came here I sort of missed the family a bit, so personally for me it was sort of just a big learning experience. Everyone was so kind and it was like that in the dorm as well. We wake up a lot earlier in the mornings, a lot earlier than probably day kids do. And I'll come over here where there'll be a hot breakfast run by the uh, kitchen in the dining hall. Then it's just your average school day, except I'll have lunch here. We come back and often that's when people go off and train for some sort of sport or music, trams or rosies. Head to dinner after that, then we have our two hours of study each night. It's quiet, it's supervised, it's really easy to focus and get all your work done. Living in the dorm is very character building. You learn how to sort out problems. You learn how to live with people. It's a very welcoming environment for all students no matter what grade you're in. So when I was in grade eight, I had my sister here. But even if I didn't have her here, the older girls really help out the younger girls. If there's any problems, you can always go talk to them. They know how the ropes work, they know what to do. I come from a family with two brothers, so it's nice to have some girls to talk to that are around my age. In the long run, everyone really loves each other. It's like a little family. The dorm is always there to help you. If you have any problems or just want to talk, they'll always be there. They encourage you to do a lot of stuff and get involved. It's just like having a grandparent there. They're, they're kind of like a parent, but like a cool parent. They're always there to help you with your schoolwork and just life problems. It's cool to be a boarder. We do a lot of activities. So sometimes we'll go to theme park. Ice skating, go-karting. Everyone's really involved. I just play football with the boys. I do cricket and rugby union. Debating. Netball, touch and tennis. I do futsal and netball in the Sakraka and I do dance on Monday mornings in Upper Highland. I've been in the cattle show team since grade eight. Often lots of the boarders get involved with going up and running the stud in the mornings. Every Monday morning I have to go up to the farm and help out with weighing the cattle. At the Downland Drill Centre we do all the preparation, washing, clipping, hone our judging skills. We have a stud which is 70 acres a greenhouse, red claw, we have steers, stud cows and our own breeders. We also have sheep up here, we have meat, chickens every now and then. Coming from St George, it's good to get away from school and come up to the stud and work with cattle. There's a lot of facilities which boarders have a lot of access to as well as day students. We have access to the Sacra Kerr Centre which is really nice. Tennis courts, um, the ovals, netball courts at the back, music rooms. Uh, the library is also really good, they've got lots of databases, audio books, things like that. I often use the library in the afternoon when I go up and study. The dorms are quite nice, I know Harris House is really nice. The main thing I'm probably going to take away from boarding is the long lasting relationships that I've made here. My favourite part of boarding is interacting with all my mates. You become independent and self-confident because you get to take care of yourself. As soon as you come in here, you're basically part of the family. I think that's just part of the downland spirit.